If it ain't my nigga Marquise. What's up, Chris? How you doing this morning? Oh, I'm chilling a little tired. You know what it is. How's your morning going? Man, I'm good, but somebody stole my breakfast out the motherfucking refrigerator. I think I'm gonna have to kill somebody around here. I know, man, but you can't perpetuate the stereotype that they already labeled on us when we walked in the door. Yeah, you're right, but if Ryan talks to me crazy again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nah, man, if you get Ryan, I'm gonna have to stop him out with you. Yeah, I'm thinking about switching to a union job again because they taking advantage of us around here. For real, man, I only came over here for the bread, but then they went and raised everybody's salaries to mine even though I got double the experience of all of them. Yeah, that's probably why they made us lock the doors when the union reps are here because they know we doing all this union work. Yeah, it's just another way they avoid paying us the overtime we deserve. Anyways, I gotta get ready for the meeting, so I'm gonna see you later. For sure, but don't trip. One day these kids gonna take off. We gonna be rich. We can get the fuck up out of here for good. You feel me? Until then, stay up, brother. You too, King. Oh, I can't wait to tell Ryan about this. Did I just see Bob sneak by and wearing my goddamn jacket again? Man, where the fuck is my black jacket? God damn it. The fuck is this shit? 104 days requested off? Fucking Chris, what the fuck? This guy can't be fucking serious. After he tried to pull that two month stunt last year, he does this shit? Fuck. Oh, hey, Ryan. How's it going? Stunt. Ah. Oh, hey, Bob. How's it going? My morning? It's going great, even with all the snakes around here. Yeah, speaking of snakes, I gotta go talk to Chris about his time off request again. Chris, so oh, is he requesting all these crazy hours again? Hmm. Maybe that's why him and Marquise are trying to unionize or something. What do you mean unionize? Yeah, I overheard him talking about unions on the way to your office. You said Chris and Marquise? One second. Natalie, get Marquise in my office right now. Hey. Anyways, Ryan, I gotta go get ready for the meeting. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. And if you hear anything else, let me know immediately. Marquise, have a seat. <sighs> What's up, Ryan? I was told you and another employee were trying to unionize. They said I was trying to do what? They said you and Christopher were trying to start a union. Man, me and Chris was just chopping it up. How would they even know what the fuck we was talking about in the first place? Well, that's what they're saying. Man, who said it? You know I can't tell you that. Don't I got the right to face my accuser? Face your accuser? You're not in court, Marquise. It's not that serious. No big deal. Then why are we sitting here talking about it? Look, Marquise, just don't let Chris get you in trouble. All right, Ryan, I'm gonna get ready for the meeting. I'll see you there. I'll see you there, Marquise. Christopher? <laughs> yes, Ryan. I just received your time off request. You sent us three emails reminding us to submit our PTO request for the year. So that's what I did. Are you seriously asking for 104 days off? Well, I thought two days a week was reasonable since you declined my request last year to take June and July off. And you don't think that's even a little overboard? Well, it says here in the employee handbook that we have unlimited paid time off. You can't possibly think that's what unlimited means. Well, according to Merriam-Webster, unlimited means having no restrictions or controls, boundless or infinite. Boy, we not gonna pay you just to not be here? Well, why does it say unlimited PTO if it's not really unlimited? Don't be ridiculous, Christopher. It's unlimited, but it's within reason. So you tell me, what does unlimited mean to you? Are you being smart with me? I'm just going to need you to submit a more reasonable request. Well, as long as you're willing to admit in writing that unlimited doesn't truly mean unlimited, then you'll have no problems for me. In writing? Now you're being absurd, and I'm really trying to work with you here. Honestly, Ryan, this is worse than when you made us lock our office door when the union representatives were in the building. So it was you trying to unionize. You know what? Please, just send me a more reasonable request, like I said. Well, I thought my request was reasonable, but I guess I'll submit it again later. Please and thank you. And we have a meeting at 15 minutes, and you better be there on time. See you there. Okay, welcome, everybody. Nice to see you guys again. First thing on this meeting's agenda is... is calling me hello hey mom it's me billy why the fuck are you calling me right now you little fucking retard you know i'm working the principal made me call you because i got suspended suspended you stupid little motherfucker why didn't you call your grandmother you know she's picking you up today i did call her she said she was stuck at her doctor's appointment 
She says she doesn't think she can pick me up or sissies. Stuck at her doctor's appointment and she won't be able to pick you or your sisters up? Well, call your mother. That bitch hasn't worked in years. I called mommy too, but her personal trainer picked up and said she was too busy. Stuck with her personal trainer? You know what? I'll call you back. Let me call your grandmother, stupid. Mom, where the fuck are you? Oh, son, I'm in the hospital. What do you mean you're in the hospital? I had a heart attack and a stroke at my doctor's appointment. You had a heart attack at the doctor's office? What are you even doing at the doctor's office this late when you know you gotta pick my kids up from school? I've had this appointment for months. I even asked you to take me. You should have just died so I could get my inheritance so I wouldn't have to work so much and I could pick my kids up myself. Well, that's why I took the pills in the first place. Well, don't die until I finish talking to you. I'll call you back. Call my fucking wife. Sorry, everyone. One second while I handle this. Shaquita, pick up the fucking phone. Voicemail? Fuck. I'm busy. Leave a message. Shaquita, call me back as soon as you can. It's important. Whoop. Looks like I'm going to have to pick up my kids from school early. So I guess we're going to have to move this meeting to another day. All right, guys. Thank you, everyone. But... Feel free to meet amongst yourselves as a team. Have a bonding experience. We have the room for two hours. Thanks, guys. Before everybody goes, I did have one more thing to say to the team. One of y'all motherfuckers went and told Ryan that I was trying to unionize the team. And y'all been in here snitching about a bunch of little stuff that I keep having to hear about in the boss's office. It feels like somebody is trying to get me fired. Yeah. Now I don't know about you, but I need this job. I got seven kids. Oh, so if I lose this job, I don't know what I'm gonna be forced to do. He preaching. All I know is I'm going to have a whole lot of time on my hands and a whole lot of anger in my soul. And where I come from, when you play with people's money, bad things happen to you. Do something about it. So I suggest we keep everybody's names at our motherfucking mouths. So are we good? Yeah.